uh, it's been great working with Scott. Um, you know, I think we're going on year eight now, um, about three different stops. So uh, you got to like him if you're going with three different places. But um, I, I think the big thing for us is just being able to work well with one another, um, with the defensive staffs that we've been a part of. Um, you know, the success that we've had, you know, we, we hope to continue the same thing. And so you kind of know what you're getting as far as uh, the individual that you work with for that that period of time. You know, our families are close, he and I are close. And so it, it just kind of makes sense as far as, um, you know, the opportunity here. You know, our profession is, is crazy at times, you know, particularly at the end of seasons. Um, and so, you know, there were, there were some options that uh, were presented to me. And, and, you know, one of those being uh, to remain at Liberty. Um, and, and then a couple other places, and then now here. Um, and, and when you look at it, he's the common denominator, right? You know, he, he's you know the big factor in the decision-making process for not only me but for my family as well. And so, um, you know, we, we figured we would come here and continue to do the same thing that we've done previously. What, what are the some of the traits that you've seen that have helped make this defense successful, and why you think it'll be successful here? We, put, we place a premium on, on being a unit and being together, first and foremost. Um, we talk about we more than me um, extensively. Uh, and when you do that, you got a chance. And when you get young men between the ages of 18 and 22 years old to buy into that, um, that there's more going on and there's more in the world than just, just them and an accountability that they have to uh, individuals that are part of, of that unit, uh, I think that's been extremely important. On top of that, you know, the, the physicality that we play with, um, you know, we, we want it to be unmatched. We, we want it to be evident when you see, turn on film or when you see us, uh, there's something different. And, and then um, we also talk about the speed that we play with as well. You know, everything that we do, we want to do fast. We want to do it in a hurry, um, not to the point where, um, you know, it's out of control. But at the same time, it's a controlled chaos where we're getting after it. So. Coach Cooper was talking about how he's going to rely a lot on you uh, and said he didn't know immediately what makes a nickelback separate from the other DBs. How would you separate nickels and corners when you're looking at a bunch of players and starting to divvy up who works with what room? Uh, when you look at a nickel in, a, in our uh, scheme, I think that's a guy that can live in both worlds from a uh, defensive back standpoint as well as a you know almost linebacker type standpoint. We ask that guy to fit the run, be physical, set an edge for us, uh, but he's also got to be a guy that can play in coverage, that can play um, in space as well. And so the nickel is, is for us a hybrid on the back end. Know, he, he's the guy that kind of um, you can hang your hat on being able to do a little bit of everything. Ron Likens said that he likes whenever he goes to a new job, he doesn't like to watch last year's film or hear about it because he wants to get his own eyes on people come spring. Obviously, spring's coming up. I'm just curious how do you handle you know moving to a new place and getting to know the roster that you kind of have. And, I mean, have you kind of looked at maybe the guys that you know two there are two freshman corners starting on the outside last year? Just kind of curious. What your mentality is with that? I'm probably opposite of uh, uh, Rob in that regard, and that I've come in and I've jumped into um, kind of being able to see what we have. You know, what's the, the foundation of that position? Um, to try to make sure that you don't make um, predetermined, you know, to, to just a predetermined idea about the young man about that particular position. But at the same time, you want to know what you're working with as well. And uh, I think one of the things that's attractive about being here and being at the corner position in particular is that you got youth. Um, you, you do have guys um, top to bottom in that room from Armani Johnson, who's a senior, you know, with the year left to, um, you know, Jahar uh, Rogers, as well as Brandon Crossley and, and also Bryce McMorris that, you know, those are younger guys that you're going to be able to build and mold um, throughout what we do. So everything that they've done up to this point defensively, uh, it's not that they've done it you know, extensive amount of years. You know, some of them only been in, been at a defensive scheme for one year. Um, so, so their room for growth, I think, is is a little bit better in, in that regard. You know, with them being young and, and us being able to make an impression on them in year two, you know, maybe year three in, in their college experience.